Jim Plunkett. Sunday at 6 on People Are Talking. Tonight, we'll meet celebrities, bugger balls, and clown grandmas. Adult Swim's Joe Firestone stops and tastes the roses. Family Ties' Mark Price skips over to Arby's to use their Wi-Fi. And Director Steve meets a special mystery guest. Plus, the most unflattering photos ever taken of you. All this tonight on TV's Plunkets and Practical Thumbs. Brought to you by Red Robin. And now, put your thumbs together for Turd Flush's Joe Pickett. And Willie's Garage sidekick, Nick Pruer. Welcome, everybody, to TV's Pockets and Practical Thumbs. My name's Joe, that's Nick, and boy, oh boy, we've got a great show. Chock full of plunkets here for you tonight. I am really excited for tonight's show. I just have one question. What's a plunket? Don't you remember, Nick, that when the pandemic started, we dug up unflattering photos of ourselves, and we showed them on our Quarantine Classics episodes. Don't you remember any of this? I don't remember. I should mention I was conked on the head pretty hard with a mallet right before I came out. Okay, that explains why you're not wearing a hat for the first time in your life. Uh, maybe these photos will jog your memory. Take a look at these. Yeah, uh, they look Anything? familiar, but no, I don't remember. It's not coming back to me. I, I, it was a pretty hard conk on the head. Director Steve, are you out there? Steve, our director. Steve, Who? are you there? Steve, our director. Hey, guys. I'm pretty excited there he is. tonight. Yes, that's Director Steve, everybody. All right, so Steve, explain this photo. This is the very first Plunkett. Sure. I got uh, tickets to the Rose Bowl, and former Patriots quarterback Jim Plunkett was there. He's one of my childhood heroes, and, well, I look terrible. You remember Steve's double chin, Nick? Do you remember the hat, the Carl Strauss hat, the fact that he looks like an actual thumb? Like, he looks like an actual thumb. And that's why we call all unflattering photos Plunkett's? Exactly. Now you're getting it. And Joe, that time we went to Red Robin and there was nothing I could eat. And you took a picture where I looked like Dom DeLuise from below. And I didn't want you to, but you posted it repeatedly on my Facebook page. And uh -huh. I had to block you. And we're yep. still not friends to this day. Nope. That's a Plunkett too? Absolutely. That's a Plunkett. Yes, you're getting it. Now you're starting to remember. And remember all of your middle school pictures. They're even worse. Do you remember these? Yeah, now I do. I, I guess I'm just a hideous human being. You definitely are. So let's end this scripted banter. Let's get this party started. And let's take a look at last year's top three Plunkets. Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett had never known failure until now. All right, let's start at the beginning because we got knock, a lot. Knock, knock. What? Who's that? It's George, everybody. Hi, George. Sorry, I'm late. I was down at the library looking up Ed McMahon's VIN number. Turns out he's dead. <laughs> well, you're just in time, George, because I was about to count down last year's top three plunkets and all the usurpations that took place. Great. Everything you said makes total sense to me and to the audience at home. Let's right. dive in. Here's our original number three. This is me after I bought a shithead hat and wore it ironically, then fell asleep unironically. Yeah, I took that photo. That is you, yes. Uh, next up, we got Emily with her gingerbread house and her oversized sweatshirt. That got usurped by Mike Drucker when he stopped by the show and he gave us this unflattering photo of himself with his hand pointed backwards and a garbage can behind him. Then uh, that, uh, yeah, I mean, he, his his uh, windbreaker was also too big. Um, oh yeah, yeah, right too back big. to back with Emily. With the, I think yeah. too big a clothing is going to be a theme tonight. All right, uh, all right. Then that got usurped by McKenna. Who, what did she call herself, Nick? She called herself a grub child. She, she thought she looked like a grub in this picture, and I, I don't disagree. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I'll go along with that. Then that got usurped by Josh. He took a photo, or his mom took a photo of him at the Star Wars premiere, and she had the flash on. 
Yeah, these are, these are the reissues, not the original premieres. And this got usurped by who's this, Nick? Is this uh Mary Lee? Mary and, Lee. Uh, we've dubbed her Grub Child too, although I don't know if she would call herself that. But she didn't uh, call herself okay, that's the we didn't get permission to call her no. Grub Child too. All right, well that got usurped by Josh, who's wearing a Kermit frog, and they're both making the exact same expression. That got usurped by Jeremy, who we don't know. He doesn't watch the show. No. It's Sally's sixth grade boyfriend. And uh, this is probably illegal to show for us, but that got usurped by Jessica, who looks exactly like Small Wonder. This is a favorite. I don't know why her mother dressed her that way. Um, I remember was that saying, an accident? Did she say? Yeah, was that- yeah, it was not intentional. But she only noticed after we started talking about Small Wonder that she was dressed like her. Is she that. wearing a doily there? Yes, it's exactly okay. what Jessica's wearing. Okay, well, that got usurped then by this picture of Nick. And Nick, did you have pink eye here? I think that you didn't even think that you, this was you. I still first. am unconvinced, but I mean, those do look like my pores and weak eyebrows. So yeah, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Well, then that got usurped. A lot of usurptions going on by Christina, who looks like an Eric Wareheim character. And that's where we're at for number three. Okay. Moving on to 2.5. We did have a category for 2.5 because we had some really good photos uh, Plunkett sent in. Uh, It was Andrew. Uh, He and his dad were at Medieval Times. His dad is not the knight. His dad is on the right with the Wambo shirt on and the shorts. Fanny pack. Really short shorts. Yeah, the fanny pack. Uh, That got usurped by this photo with Roz and a centaur. But you'd never know it was a centaur because the photo was taken from his chest up. So it just looks like a shirtless guy drinking a beer. Yep. No indication of a centaur. That got usurped by the one and only George after. Did you have lip surgery or what happened here? I had a lip injury. We'll just say that. Okay. Yeah. You look terrible even as a little boy. Thank you. Uh, That got usurped by David. I mean, this should be the greatest photo of all time. There's a lot going on here. I think it'd be higher than 2.5, but we don't make the rules. No, this is how it goes. And these you're are all such a cutie, Janine and Linda. Wow. Is that the right kind of your? Absolutely not. Okay. That's why it's a plunket. Uh, then that got usurped. Believe it. Did, no, wait. Did this get usurped? This never got usurped. It did. No, I well, don't think as, it's got... as a 2.5, no. No, as a 2.5, this never got usurped. Then at coming at number two, the original number two was Nick's photo of Red Robin that we had just talked about from a low angle. We're no longer friends on Facebook. I don't know Um, if the special's uh, accurate because there are no vegan appetizers at Red Robin and that's not high spell appetizers. So, okay. uh, Well, go ahead and try to redeem that. Give it a shot. Uh, But then that got usurped by Nick Stevens, friend of the show. He sent us this, which is just a beautiful photo of his dad who looks like Saddam Hussein smoking inside the hotel room without a shirt on or in apparently pants his mom in her bra in the bathroom not knowing that a photo is being taken and then his brother about to sneeze perfect that's number photo. two perfect photo it's as that's as good as it gets or does it because here it is our number one plunket of all time Steve Lawrence and Jim Plunkett with Steve looking like a thumb the one competition I did not want to win. Uh, Carl Struss had the lanyard. It's all coming back to me now. Um, but what about the other plunkets that were sent into us last year that didn't make the cut? Is is there a fun way to showcase those? Yes, absolutely, Nick. It's with our special guest, the one and only Joe Firestone. <laughs> And joining us now is Joe Firestone, the star of Rate the Cookie with Joe Firestone. Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, hello. But before we started, I just wanted to, I wanted to show you a couple plunkets uh, okay. first, just, just to warm just to warm up to plunkets. Mood. Um, you know my wife, Albertina. I and, love um, Albertina. She's the best. And uh, here's a plunket that I took of her on an airplane. She fell asleep, and I put <laughs> a piece of straw... Uh, the straw wrapper. I put it onto her onto her tongue while she was sleeping, and uh, I don't. I, is this illegal? Is this illegal to do this to somebody? And she would kill me right now if she knew that I was actually showing this to people. Like she doesn't want to show that to people. I mean, then, huh? It says a lot about how dainty your fingers are. <laughs> that is a great point. Thank yeah. you. 
Whoa. And you know Albertina is a lovely woman. Like, this is not a flattering photo of Albertina. No, that's definitely a plunket. <laughs> um, but then um, I was on an airplane with Nick, and I, and I was like, this is kind of my bit now. <laughs> Putting paper into people's mouths. Because of your dainty fingers. I think that's... <laughs> I was really good at the game operation. <laughs> yeah, it so. sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, that's your bit. But um, occasionally Joe falls asleep on planes too. And um, so I took this one of him. We were on a flight to Las Vegas and there was a model sitting next to us who um, was one of the uh, booth uh, actresses who, you know, at a trade show to help sell products. Oh. And the contrast here is what I, I like. It oh, just, look at that hideous monster next to that <laughs> poor woman it really doesn't seem right that you know when you fall asleep why can't you breathe through your nose you breathe through your nose all day long and <laughs> why is it that when you fall asleep you have to use your mouth it seems not fair you're right and, and maybe, uh, there's, maybe there's a surgery that can correct that <laughs> and joe you see that as a sign of weakness and pounce i think that's <laughs> Also, you know what else? I hate my sweatshirt. I, I mean, I do love wearing my sweatshirt like that on airplanes, like a blanket. Blanket style, But it yeah. doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Well, well yeah. And uh, Joe, we reached out to you and said, do you have any unflattering photos? And uh, you, you sent us this one. And uh, I, I have just a lot of questions about this. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what's going on? Well, I'd love to hear your questions because I don't really know how to. <laughs> okay. Well, did you pay for the photo? Because I see the watermark here. Yeah. Proof preview. Proof preview. Uh, I, so if my, you ordered I, the portraits, you would have gotten that removed. But apparently you didn't think enough of this one to order them. I have a question. Did you do it as a, were you uh, serious there? Or was this as a joke? What do you think based on my eyes? <laughs> That's a I think serious. Yeah. I think you're serious too. I think I am too. <laughs> so, <laughs> how old were you here? I was uh, 18 years old. Okay, so this is like senior photo. Yeah, I was fully sexually mature in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. What What were you going for? Like, Sexual what was? Maturity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought uh, because you know that you go to get your senior photo taken. And they have, you know, they have these kinds of um, walls and they have roses and it's kind of, you put two and two together, you know. The light bulb went off and you're like, I know. You got yeah. yourself a slam dunk here. See, I thought you were in Tuscany. I know. I know. <laughs> um, putting your hand in some marble there. Yeah. And you're wearing kind of a lace trimmed um, tank top? Is that what that is below? Yeah, I kind of want to tell you that this was the fashion at the time, but I have to <laughs> admit that it was not. It was kind so of... you you choose one to go in the yearbook, but I'm guessing this wasn't the one that ended up in there, or what? What ended up being in the yearbook? Uh, it was an equally uh, sweaty, bug-eyed <laughs> pick, but it it was just a, with a pink sweater instead. <laughs> My, uh, they had to be changed clothes. Okay. No, but no rose in the mouths or any flowers in the mouths. In the no, mouth? they didn't. No. My mom didn't want me to use that one, so okay. she she said that the other one was more conservative. But I I have equally uh, sh shiny shiny eyes in it. Like <laughs> yeah, you, you just you described it as sweaty and bug eyed. So. Yeah, like a fresh <laughs> like a fresh cry came over me right before. <laughs> who are who are people that put roses in their mouths like matadors? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, matadors. Flamenco <laughs> dancers, maybe? Flamenco, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah flamenco dancers. 18-year-olds um, like, uh, from St. Louis. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, pretty much if you're wanting to, if you have never, I mean, this is a, obviously the, the photo of a virgin, and that's, nothing's wrong with that, but that's <laughs> obviously the case. And I think this is the, the you know, pose of a sexually inexperienced, but wanting <laughs> To appear sexually experienced woman, right? It kinda, like, yeah, it looks yeah. like a, the cover of a romance novel or something, maybe. Or just I mean, like, yeah, I, yeah, I guess like a self-published one. I think, <laughs> I think that, um, order it on Amazon, you know, and yeah. they make them on demand. There's I a lot of typos. Yeah, yeah, the one thing I do regret, because I do have, everybody says, oh, Jojo, you have such tiny teeth. 
And that's something that everybody tells me. And I would, I think this is obvious here. I, I barely have a little nugget of tooth coming out of that yeah. flower. I was, I was just going to say something about your tiny teeth. Yeah. You need yeah. to have big teeth to bite onto a flower. Otherwise, it just looks like that's your teeth. You're yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, you got to show the flower who's boss. <laughs> I don't know if it's too late, but I might order these portraits just to <laughs> get the watermark off. Um, well, let's. So, 2020 was a horrible year for for most people, and it was bad for us too. But the good thing, like necessity is the mother of invention, and we kind of ran out of videos to to show and discover. So we started a show where we basically just showed unflattering photos, and then viewers started sending them in. And Joe, I wanted to catch you up to speed with some of the greatest hits of photos that viewers sent in. And mm -hmm. by sending them in, they've given us permission to make fun of them because they're making fun of themselves. We can make fun of them. We can be brutal. In fact, I think they want us to be mean and brutal. Yeah. And I think you're going to find a lot of other photos of virgins in here. So <laughs> let's, let's take a look. We'll start uh, with Andrew. And uh, he's in front of a Coors Light NASCAR. He's got a Universal Studios um, shopping bag. He's wearing um, a Washington football jersey. And he's kind of looks like he's kind of itching his eye there, maybe. Yeah, that's, a, that's an eye itch. Uh -huh. Yeah. With, with the tongue uh, attachment to the eye itch. You know, yeah. like that's a mouth. very satisfying itch. I think so. And I mean, you might have tiny teeth, but it looks like Andrew doesn't have any based on this photo. <laughs> Um, so that's a looks like a vacation plunket. This one, uh, let's see. There's another sports related one. This is um, Adam with uh, a basketball player named Detlef Shrimp. <laughs> oh, I thought I recognized him. Yeah. Wait, is is that which one's Detlef Shrimp? The one on his shirt or the one the man uh, sitting next to him? Yeah, no, he's wearing a Tim Toolman Taylor shirt. Oh, okay. Hand in TGI Friday pants. I don't know what those are. <laughs> And I just yep. noticed the cop in the background, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's kind and, of. Yeah, the, it does seem like this guy seems pretty happy to be with Trump. You know? <laughs> yeah, Trump, yeah. Close enough. Yeah, he does. He's, he's pretty thrilled. Do you think All right. the cop right now is like has his like eagle eyes out like, just to make sure that nobody's going to fuck with Shrimp right a, now? A Della Trump assassin <laughs> is a new. Shrimp? Sort of, shrimp? yeah. Shrimp. Uh, shrimp. Like, like, like shrimp. E yeah, with an E, yeah. Shrimp with an E with an, an F, F at the F end. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a fun way to, t you know, in attendance. Can you <laughs> roll call? Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> How do I say this? Shrimp. shrimp with an E with an F at the end. <laughs> All right. Here's another sports related one. This is Eric's school picture. So another uh, school picture. Um, oh, braces. That is a breast feeder if I ever saw him. <laughs> like oh. current. Right, like still at the teeth. Oh, I just love this precious child. I, I really do. That was a sweet boy. Um, do you think he was actually in the NBA? Because he's holding a basketball that says NBA on it. Look at the crowd think, behind him. Yeah, I think so. He's probably what is he? Probably in this picture, five foot eleven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a little shrimp. Yeah, yeah. he's a big uh, shrimp. Yeah. Well, here's another school plunket. This is Christy, who. Uh, put a heart over the student uh, for privacy reasons but there's a lot to admire here i think yeah and can we just she's smiling with her eyes closed is that the face yeah let's uh, zoom in and take take a look here at christy yeah zooming with the eyes closed um she, yeah she's not she's smiling it's not facing we get the two exit signs and a lot of headroom here i mean but you know that to smile with your eyes closed is the most vulnerable face you can make. You're you know? right. And and, the, and she did that around two children. And what do you think their outfit is? I it looks like some sort of Thanksgiving, maybe making sort of um, a Native American kind of fringy outfit. I thought it was like a grocery bag. It does like look they... like a repurposed grocery bag, but maybe yeah. it is kind of. It definitely looks like an art project of sorts. Yeah, I'm gonna think... go ahead and say my favorite part is the framing. I really yeah. like the framing of the photo. At a, on a tilt. Looks yeah, like some it's a slightly yep. mapping it, mats behind. Definitely, her. it's definitely an exit over there. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> All right, here's another. This is Josh from New Jersey, and I don't even know what the hair's doing here. It's like, how do you get it to do that? I think that's a hat. I think it is. A hat. <laughs> You're right. See now, I thought he was the inside of a lava lamp. <laughs> oh yeah because <laughs> he's just kind of a yeah in the background there mm -hmm. 
Uh, all right, here's another school picture. This is Jeremy wearing a Robo Duck t-shirt for a school photo. <laughs> like Robo Cop, but it, the duck version of that, I guess. Uh-huh. No, that, I think that that's on the school photographer. Because they really, <laughs> they didn't do their job right. That's, that's on them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The open mouth, I, he should have done a second take. If we could go back to that one right before, mm -hmm. you know, the school photographer really did their job right. You know, they said smile, and this kid did his best to smile. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 Jeremy just, got blindsided by the photographer here. <laughs> I can't tell if Jeremy's hair is greasy or staticky. I'm going to say staticky. Yeah. It's He's got a lot of shine on it, but look at the... It's, it's like he's got his hand, hand on one of those, like, generators you know that makes your hair stick up oh yeah all right now this is somebody that you may know joe do you recognize one of these things is not like the other here do you recognize this precious bumblebee well, in the middle it does appear that one that one person really didn't get the memo about the costume <laughs> <Yeah>. yes <laughs> uh that is a comedian and movie star kurt brownoller um Oh my God. Yeah, he appeared on our show last year and uh, showed this one and is trying, he put out a billboard trying to track down every one of these bees for a reunion photo, not having a lot of luck, but <laughs> I like the idea. I was a second grader as the only male tap dancer in my tap dancing class too. So I, I really feel for, for Kurt uh -huh. in this picture. Wow. This is a viewer, uh, Joshua. <laughs> He's just very serious. It says, Our American Constitution. <laughs> and it has the years on there. Do we have to salute Joshua? I think so. Yeah, okay. we all should here. Briefly. All right, we should. Yeah. I'm gonna... We the people. Never been prouder. Um, this is another Joshua, but I guess his name was in as both Josh and Joshua from the yearbook committee. And they didn't know he was a different person. They thought he was twins. So they put both photos next to each other in the yearbook. One is Josh, one is Joshua. Let me zoom in so you can see. <laughs> I mean, one's good. It's like his own alter ego, basically. It's his doppelganger. The evil <laughs> ones, Joshua is clearly the evil one on the right. Oh yeah. I wouldn't trust Joshua at this all. Is, uh, Gretchen and I mean, yeah, the clown's there, but <laughs> the hair is equally questionable here. I wake up with that hair every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if this hits a little close to home. I, I have a problem with a clown that only has one color face makeup, too. That, oh, that just, really bothers me. You just yeah. need a red or a white or something. Yeah, <laughs> kind of a lazy face yeah. paint. But uh, that's not our only clown, Plunkett. We got a grandma clown here. This is Annie's grandmother who <laughs> Well, Annie Annie was working something out with that. Yeah. <laughs> Annie was mad at the grandmother. <laughs> I like yeah. Annie's body language there too. Like what's her body language telling us right now? Like it's kind of a okay. Discomfort, I think yeah. was the main. And that's not like friendly clown. That's like Oh, it looks like Annie maybe maybe painted her grandma's mm -hmm. face. That's the vibe I got. Okay, I'm putting it together oh, now. Oh, and she's, she's a got juggalo. A paintbrush. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Um, this is another family plunket where the whole, each family member is equally unflattering here. Uh, this is Karen's family. And you got, um, I believe that might be Karen's boyfriend or yeah, who's drinking a diet, caffeine free diet Pepsi. Looks like oh, party time. One arm's behind his back. Her mother is in mid-step with an envelope, I guess. Seems like she's about to go to the post office. <laughs> I'm right the post office. And there's some sort of horse saddle or bridle behind them on the wallpaper. So oh, yeah. The family Plunkett. Um, I mean, you, could, you could analyze this photo for years. This might be the Plunkett Rosetta Stone, really. It, <laughs> it sets the table We're for We're going to teach classes Plunkett. about that Plunkett. <laughs> you know, I think that that, that that person that's holding the Diet Pepsi, I think that... He, He's reaching his hand around and giving his girlfriend a little tickle in the knee. You're right. That's <laughs> sweet. That is sweet. Yeah. It didn't and photograph well, but. It didn't. It didn't. What do you guys think about the wallpaper to the curtain? Sorry, let's uh, go back. Yeah. The, the wallpaper to the curtain, uh, like matching wise. I'm no interior decorator. I don't claim to be. So no, I don't want to make yourself short. I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's a little busy. That'd be. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. 
Joe, sure. do you know anything about interior decorating? Is that yeah, is that yeah, good I interior? Yeah, I a ton. Obviously, I can you can tell um, I have a lot going on and made a lot of decisions. You need some wallpaper. That's, that's where I'd go with it. I need a little bit, but that's what's going on there. I need a little yeah. bit of that. Yeah. Yep. You need more right saddles. Here. This is blank. This is our, our buddy Dave actually wearing a... <laughs> uh tuxedo shirt i guess and uh again the framing here is great you get to see some candles on a mantle and uh, uh the, i think a flash maybe in the window you just kind of cut them off at the shins i like it <laughs> <laughs> here's a good one this is uh karina and her friend they're holding up i guess a cd booklet and she's mid bite of oreo i think she had broken it off and had half the oreo so you can see kind of you know the frosting on part of it Zoom in. I mean, both of them, it's pretty unflattering. Yeah. Headphones. Yeah. yeah. Probably listening to whatever CD that was. I mean, she's pretty much in bliss right here. Headphones oh. are not engaging. And look at friend. I mean, friend is really, <laughs> you know, friend is, is standing, half standing, kind of saying, what, what now? What do yeah. we do? She's not listening to the CD. She's not eating an Oreo. She's appealing to the camp, the photo <laughs> saying, get me out of here. What's this woman exactly. doing? It always bothers me when you see two friends and one of them has headphones on. Yeah. That doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't no. make sense. No. What kind of friendship is that, Karina? Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Sheila's birthday. And uh, we've got a lot of, Sheila sent in a lot of Plunkets and uh, the glasses <laughs> really sell it. She's Queen Plunkett. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> <laughs> look at those candles the length of the candles really bothers me on that one but hey, they, go ahead i just am trying to figure out how old she is turning <laughs> <laughs> well let's do the math here i mean we got what, 48 one, two, three, <laughs> yeah either seven or 48 i don't know yeah. it's hard to tell i mean she has the glasses of a 48 year old but the candles say otherwise i like how the candles match that Girl, that girl's shirt on the way right oh yeah they're kind of yeah. color. I'm, I'm big into matching <laughs> i gotta think for matching uh this is a more modern one this is bat prince um who uh that he lives in i think australia and that's a tasmanian devil um that's being held up there and oh, that's uh, like an actual mm -hmm. i am really drawn to the woman yeah i know <laughs> like bat prince sent this in for him but i mean we got kind of she she knows the cameras on her too. It looks like Nick. Can you can you scroll down because it kind of looks like uh, the the Tasmanian Devil's foot is a human foot right there, doesn't it? A little bit. Uh, like if you cut, if you crop it off, crop off her right. You know what I mean? Back it up. But you know you see what I'm trying to go for here? No, no, no. Back it up a little bit. Okay. And then, oh, I see. Like that's yeah, yeah. her. That is the Tasmanian, that's the Tasmanian Devil's foot. foot. Okay. You see? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see right that. There. There. Yeah, it was a long walk, but we got there. <laughs> yep, there it is. That's it. You know, you got to do a long walk to get a long foot. And then... <laughs> the old saying goes. Uh, and I think there's just one more here from. Uh... Oh no, there's a couple more. This is a celebrity plunket. This is uh, Matt from the UK with Mick Foley, the wrestler, and none of them are looking at where the camera's being. <laughs> Where the not, not even the sock puppet is. <laughs> no, although that comes the closest, I think. Uh, here's another one. This is Matt saw the band Cinderella at the Denver airport. <laughs> it was like, hey, can I get a pic? Had a stranger take a pic and his thumbs in it. So here he is. <laughs> Cinderella doesn't look thrilled and uh, Matt wasn't when he got this back, I don't think either. Again, body recognize? language. How do you body language is the... the the front man from Cinderella, just like, yeah. all right, yeah, he's got his arms crossed. We're on, we're on our way to play a state fair in, in <laughs> Tucson, so. And uh, last but not least, we got Matt's Uncle Scott. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. I mean. <clears throat> it's subtle, it's understated, like, and it's uh, a plunket. I was noticing some new details this time around. I mean, the Speedo the hat, obviously. And are those like barbecue tongs? Yeah, it looks like some kind of weapon and a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> That's old Uncle Scott for you. That's and a one-two punch. I want to know who's putting stairs on the grass. Yeah. That, <laughs> you know, we didn't notice that in our first 100 viewings of that, but you're right. But you know what? I do like that they have a handrail for safety there. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you fall, that rope is going to keep you stable. <laughs> so those are some of our viewer submitted plunkets from last year. Later in the show, we're going to be showing ones from <clears throat> from 2021, some new ones. Ooh. I wanted to talk briefly about your show. We saw half an Oreo in one of those plunkets. But talk about Rate the Cookie, because I watched this and the premise is is so funny. Well, the it's the premise is that people, you know, eat store-bought cookies thinking they're here to talk about them but really ultimately i ask them uh whether they want to be friends with me or accept fifty dollars in cash i don't want to give anything away but most people do not choose to be friends with you yeah yeah <laughs> um i find that hard to believe well i have something i i don't know what to do so one person who did opt to take cash has been very aggressive at becoming friends with me and now, should I take the cash back? Or what should I do here? Yeah, I guess, how does it work? I mean, like, do, do you have a receipt or something? Do they give you a receipt? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, thanks, Joe, for being on TV's Plunkets and, and Practical Thumbs. And uh, I want to see more senior photos when you come back. I want to see that watermark off. <laughs> thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> When we return, we'll see the latest plunkets for 2021 from viewers like you. But first. Which thumb is Steve? The answer when we return. Hey, Plunkett. You've never seen anything like these J-wipes, boy. Car wax right in a cloth. And it's easy. Sure, they're easy. Will the shine last? Will the shine last? Jay Wives puts down more wax in the leading paste. It bonds to the finish for a shine that really lasts. You see that? <laughs> New Jay Wipes from Jay Wax. The tough wax shine. Flush your troubles down the toilet with Turd Flush. Thursdays at 4. Which thumb is Steve? If you said Steve was this thumb, you're correct. And that's how you play. That thumb was Steve. <laughs> you know what? I've seen a lot of Steves, but that thumb was ridiculous. <laughs> he was. Well, you know, we've shown some 2020 plunkets and ones that were sent in last year, but I can't help but wondering if you guys have any new photos you've uncovered that were terribly unflattering that we could show for 2021. Since we stopped doing that, I've stopped taking photos of myself because I'm always looking hideous. But I did find two recently. Uh, Take a look at this one. This one I took after I chipped my tooth on a fork and I was taking a photo of it so that I could zoom in closer so I could see if I actually did chip my tooth or if it was visible. It was and just it turns, for reference. It was just for reference. I only did it not to take a photo of myself, but just to like see my well-being. Yeah, that's a plunket. I went digging, you know, because I knew the show was coming up. I went looking for another one. I found this one, which isn't a terrible photo. Of me. I'm going to say as far as photos of yeah. me goes, that's not that bad. Pretty skinny, good, good hair. Yeah. But here's the thing. Nick, I remember you had an ex-girlfriend who had a cousin who had this legendary photo yeah. of him after he graduated, he was sitting with his mom. And I'll, I'll tell you this, I never told you this before, but I reached out to your ex-girlfriend to try and get that photo. Yeah. And she never responded. Huh? So <laughs> uh, this photo was my attempt to reenact that years ago. I did this years ago after. Okay. And I, uh, I, so I can't take credit for this. Okay. And so this is the full photo <laughs> of me doing my impression of your ex-girlfriend's yeah, her nephew, cousin. Oh, nephew. Jesse, Jesse was, uh, no, okay. it was a cousin. Yeah, yeah, cousin. Yeah. Uh, was, in bas- cousin. was in basketball shorts, and the photographer didn't realize it, but then he had his photos. So, yep. yep. Pretty good uh, recreation, yep. I would say. And was Nikki, that when you were dancing at Cheeks? That was, the, <laughs> that was when I was back at Cheeks. Yeah, those are back those. And Nick, you know how to use the um, blurring tool, right? I'm going to learn. <laughs> I'm going to learn. Well, those are some good 2021 plunkets. And I asked uh, Steve if, if he had one, and, and uh, you didn't have one that highlighted you per se, right, Steve? I used all of uh, mine on the uh, quarantine classics, but you know, plunkets run in the family. Well, who are we looking at here? This is my uh, sister, and this is, you know, probably uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> is that you with? 
That's me, and that is okay. uh, our cat Velvet, Black Velvet. <laughs> the way, I don't mean to be indiscreet here, but the way the tail is positioned, it almost <laughs> looks like a merkin of some sort there. Uh, Leave it to the sexual man to take it there. Uh, <laughs> I will remind you, the girl in that photo is like 14 years old. So. I know, I'm just saying it's an, oh. it's an unfortunate positioning of the cat's tail. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Steve, Nobody you're underselling else. how you look in this. This is definitely a plunket of you as well. <laughs> I, I thought it looks pretty good. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I, it's almost like you recreated Joe's photo with those shorts, too. So I'm glad those uh, were an inch longer. Than, yeah, if yeah. you had sat down on the couch, I think it would have been my <laughs> similar. I, th I think you might have been but right. But I don't know, Steve, had your testicles dropped at this point? It's a great Most question. likely not. Most likely okay. not. Okay. And George, wait, wait, wait. Yeah? When did they drop? Um... 2018 somewhere around there oh fairly uh, recently done okay. yeah oh, very recent well congratulations george what well, did you, you what did you dig up for the new year well that is a baby photo of me in which it looks like there's something seriously the matter with me i would say <laughs> i think it looks it looks like you need the heimlich maneuver it, it yeah i think the, and what's interesting is the more you zoom in on it the more not okay i look what if it your is, cheeks still look like this george uh, I, I think it's more the eyes and like the like the cranium looks like it is almost completely recessed. I don't know. Something's not okay. It's I don't know what ever happened to that kid, but it didn't turn into me. And, and George, is that your nanny behind you? That is, uh, you know, I think I still I still own that. Oh. And, uh, and that was that was the frog that gave me uh, mouth to mouth and saved me that day. And, <laughs> Thank and God. How, how about the bib? Do you still own that? I'm wearing it underneath this that, what do we have that here, is an George? intense that is an intense ass bib i've seen a lot of bibs <laughs> yeah. but that's an intense ass bib i was a very drooly baby i guess I so see. cheeks like those uh all right now here you're a little older this is uh yes, that's 11th grade i think i probably thought i was looking cool that may have well been the last time i wore shorts um <laughs> I was say, 1991 92 um, Nick, zoom in on that <laughs> What, on the shorts or? Well, just on the whole picture. I want to okay. see. We got just, USC. Yeah, that was somebody else's hat. I don't, I followed no sports. I have did no idea how Did you play accordion? That. I did. And I, I, I still do poorly, but it's knees that concern me. I, I, I think I, that's why I can't wear shorts. I feel like my knees are strange and maybe all knees are strange, but I don't want to subject anyone to that. Nick, can you zoom in? I think his testicles hanging out of the bottom of that. Mm, yeah, that's my knee. That's yeah. that's my patella. That's, but I uh, did I did notice boat uh, shoes here without socks. So yes, all around uh, complete plunket. Well yes. done. And good, in a field. Good no find. Less. And this one I was thrilled to find here. Uh, this is you with a whip, is it? Yes. This this, this would be ninth grade. I probably thought I was looking really great. Uh huh. Uh, I, that that um diehard uh, movie display was from a video store um where they were advertising the movie for sale and they, they ended up giving it to me and i um the the, the reflection <laughs> of the flash is great but yes i'm yeah. holding a bull whip i'm wearing um i was a, a chubby young man so i would always wear a jacket zipped to about there and I don't, underneath... know if, I don't know if white members only was the right look here <laughs> with the hand in the pocket but uh and i believe i'm wearing a if you i don't know if the zoom in is would help here but i believe it's a shirt with a uh, wolverine and the incredible hulk Robot Incredible Hulk's head impaled on Wolverine's uh, claw. This is sure to win me friends in uh, in my junior high school. It, wow! It, and you, were you there all by yourself? Who took the photo? I, my guess is my brother. Okay, I probably asked him to. <laughs> I, so I, I have a great setup for a photo. And, and you brought we... you brought the whip with you down to the video store no no i i had that in I, I took that home oh you took it it was at home at that point yeah okay I got what it. were you carrying the whip around all the time at this age or what how often was the whip in play whenever i was home from school i was probably holding the whip you know Indiana they might Jones. need it i never knew when i have some more whip. i have some more whip questions okay uh do you are you any good with a whip no hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> well, let's move on to uh, I dug up some more. This is uh, one I took in 1998 with my sister at the Minneapolis Zoo. Um, and you can see that I was coming off my perm. So my hair is still fluffy and sort of Prince Valiant-esque, and I couldn't grow a good mustache. So it doesn't really connect very well. And uh, Would you switch hairstyles with yourself at this point in your life? Ooh, that is a good question. And you'd have and to I wear it like that. 
Uh, no, I wouldn't. I would just. I think I would keep. Because you kind of had like a, a puff on the on the right. That was side the of your perm. Head. That was the the death throes of the perm that I got. Ironically, but then I just had to live with for you know a half a year basically. Perm until... puffs. You had to perm live puffs. with, with yeah. perm puffs. Okay. Yep. And that Hawaiian shirt wasn't ironic. I just wore that out in my day to day life. Uh huh. Um, this one I never showed. Uh, this is us. <laughs> I believe this was on a friend's farm. And they had just this cat. They had given birth to barn cats, and I'm I'm sort of wearing testicle shorts here as well from the, the school of uh, Joe and Steve here. And I'm wearing a Hawaii um, biker cap. And then I don't know if you can see. That's my sister again. I don't know if you can see my shirt, but it's um, a candy, a local candy called Wisconsin Cow Pie, uh, which is caramel with nut clusters covered in chocolate. And you could send a proof of purchase and like fourteen dollars in for a shirt, which I did, and I just wore it in my day to day life. So that's me holding a barn cat. I don't know who taught you how to hold a cat, but you're not doing a good job. <laughs> oh, the well, cat died in my arms. That was Lenny from <laughs> Mice and Men, right? Also, there. you have a candy shirt. Yes. I don't know any kids who had a candy shirt at that age. Hmm. Didn't know a lot of fat kids, huh? <laughs> and finally, this is one that I think I, I had in 2020, but was too embarrassed to, to show. This was a Pee Wee Herman costume. Um, the best I could do with a oh. thrift store. Oh. Ouch. I have lipstick and makeup on. Ouch. And um, that's a banister, I think, in, front, in the back there. And do you yeah. Think do you think you did the tequila dance that night? Oh, I guarantee. I guarantee <laughs> you I did it. It might not have even been Halloween. I don't think I it was, was going to ask. I don't think it was. I think I just decided to dress as, as Pee Wee Herman one day. And uh, uh, I, I think ask... I had that shirt, too. Yeah. Uh, short was... sleeves, vertical stripes, so yep. you, because they told you vertical stripes would make you look skinny. Yeah, I think oh. it's the other way around. I think it actually. Yeah, that's like a Bugle Boy kind of... shirt from back in the day. Probably. I Any other ask... questions? You, well, first of all, you look like a Red Robin employee. Yeah. Second of all, what? <laughs> tell me about the framed photo behind you that your mom had up a, on the my, wall. Yeah, I think my parents were into the country motif. Okay. We lived in the suburbs, and uh, they really so, yeah. got into like wooden spoons and things. Yeah, to wooden stir. spoons, hearts. Okay. Uh, various it, kitchen utensils. So stuck yeah. in a vase, right? Yep. And then in a skinny a... frame. There's probably three of them, I'm guessing. <laughs> but hey, it wasn't just us who had new plunkets. We got some sent in by our viewers. So let's take a look at some of those. This is baby. Uh, Jay wearing a Yankee hat. Looks a little like George uh, with the frog bib. Um, yeah, I think we were in the same ward. <laughs> this is uh, Adam, and uh, he described himself as sassy. And I agree. <laughs> That's a sassy boy. <laughs> yeah. Sesame Place Ed sent this in, and he had an interesting backstory. He said, I grew up in a transcendental meditation community in Fairfield, Iowa. Stop there. I didn't even know there was such a thing as TM communities, but uh, he had just received his TM sitting technique. He was 10 years old and I'm holding my puha offering of fruit and flowers or maybe puja. I'm not even sure what a puja is, he says. Zoom in. Okay. I want to see more. Zoom this in. Is, I want to see his puja. This is 10 year old Ed and his Maybe TM we should call the show us your pujas. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. For everybody in transcendental meditation communities. And show you us know what? I love the uh, the black socks with the – are those Yankees sandals? Like what is, what's going um, on with his feet? Or is, the, is he just in the socks just and the grass? Socks, yeah. Ooh, that bothers me. Socks yeah. on grass. Ooh, I don't like that at he's all. A, he's about to – looks like he's about to be in an ACDC cover band. But uh, <laughs> all right, congratulations belatedly. Total plunket. Uh, this is Will. He sent himself in a Hulk shirt and a banana seat, kind of a – not a not a great teeth look going on and squinty eyes. And he was definitely a hockey player, right? Like he was. I'm sure right? that's how he did. He it. just got done playing hockey. This is a 12 year old lobster plunket. This is Jay, <laughs> and he said he was worried that the lobster was going to pinch his balls, so that's why he's covering that up. He is wearing shorts. Yep. I'm just noticing some details, like Kellogg's All American Rice Krispies in the back. Um. <laughs> a lot going on here i'm seeing shorts as a motif here yeah. uh yeah I, yeah george maybe you're right not to wear them <laughs> all right here we have uh eric p with his sister and uh, just the caption our fish <laughs> i like that a lot <laughs> holding up some fish wearing a what, sailor is that worthy still of, alive to this day mm -hmm. is that worthy of an exclamation point do you think 
maybe. And I, maybe they're using paper towels to hold the fish, I guess. Yeah, you don't want to actually hold it, our yeah. fish. Derek uh, did an art. Ex- he was part of an art exhibit, and uh, he did just a Nirvana uh, art here. And uh, they, I guess he put him right next to the emergency exit. Not not prominent placement for his uh, artwork here. No, just the, I, I just I like the whole framing of everything here. I like the yeah. uh, the lampshade there. <laughs> the dusty lampshade. Uh huh. And the squinting and the, the hairstyle and the yes. Yep. Well, we got a new category here: Blue Man Group. Um, <laughs> This is Danya, and they're on the right there, and uh, kind of squinty, and uh, looks like Michael Sarah maybe next to the <laughs> kind of oh, yeah. a, a a bonnet around with a scarf around, and yeah. Uh, do you think the the guy from Blue Man Group? Do you think he has this photo hung up on his refrigerator too? <laughs> yeah, he probably does as well. Okay. But oh, and this is a, a Blue Man cruise, I guess. Norwegian cruise. Oh, it's line. a. Oof. But we oh, got another. Just randomly, this is Janaya, or Janaya, sorry, uh, with a Blue Man as well. Looks like maybe the New York edition. And um, is this a cruise? Now on no. the cruises, Nick, do you know? Do the Blue Men do they actually drive the boats, the yachts? Yeah, the Blue Man the, cruise. Yeah, the Blue Man they're cruise. In, they actually they're in charge of everything. They're sculpting the ice sculptures, the whole. They're nine. doing they're, the the housekeeping, the towel origami. Yeah, but right, if they the, hit an iceberg, they can't yell or tell anybody, right? The Blue Men. Don't no, talk. but they come up with a hilarious pantomime during it. Ah. So and least, they do flips onto the iceberg. And have you I don't, seen Blue I've Man never, Group? Huh? I've never seen it before oh, in my it's, life. It's, it's very entertaining. But uh, when Janaea um, was asked why she was submitting this plunket, she said, bangs. So it makes sense <laughs> to me. Here's Drew F., pretty simple, unkempt. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. I mean, that, that looks like me every single morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Rebecca sent this one in and just said that she probably ruined this family friend's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love that as a category. It's like you don't really know them; they're a family friend. You don't you haven't kept in touch with them, but you're going to their wedding. And the family is just like, oh, Jim Plunkett showed up to our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Every, you want the red motif? Okay, sure. Steal all the attention from the bride. Jason M. This is he called a mopey Plunkett, and I would agree. It just looks like a mope here. That's dictionary <laughs> definition of moping. Sure is. This is uh, another medieval times Plunkett. And uh, this was Jessica said that her son was scared of the princess uh, on the right there. Keith so totally sold out his dad and sister with this plunket. Sister not ready for the photo, doing her nails, and the dad kind of hunched over. Oh, almost Saddam Hussein esque. Um, and I think he might have a towel on. Yeah, he has a towel on. Yep. That is a fantastic photo. Pans hung on the wall. I mean, there's a lot. Cool to, floor. A lot to like here. Yeah. Nick, didn't you have a floor like that in your bedroom? Yeah, my high school bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Mikhail. Um, this was taken on a May Day, uh, and uh, he was drunk and seems to be asleep in the popcorn. You can see a little bit, a bit of his stomach there, too. That's what I was going to bring up was his, his exposed stomach uh, <laughs> with a, a little bit of hair on it. It's not yep. too hairy, but it's just like just nice shade of hair. This is uh, another appears to be drunk. Um, Plunkett from Eric. This is in the Yukon. They're norms. called drunkets. Drunkets, a new yep. category. Yep. Uh, this is Sally uh, with her pet rabbit's uh, injured foot. It's really low res. The rabbit's a bit of a plunket there, and um, <laughs> it's a pet plunket. That's a pet. I love pet plunket. Now we showed yeah, this one last year. This is Wayney who uh, goes to a lot of celebrity book signings. Um, she thought that she could get a photo taken, but Joe Manganiello didn't think that was a possibility. So <laughs> he didn't want the photo taken, was not happy about it, but Wayne did anyway. And Wayne's on the way left. Wayne's on the, the left. the other two people are strangers, yes. correct? <laughs> so Wayne sent some more celebrity plunkets for 2021. This is her with Joey McIntyre from the New Kids on the Block. I don't know if she just ran into him on the street or what, but taken at sort of the Red Robin angle, it's not a flattering look. Right. Yeah, um, here's the below another, looking up the nostrils. Scott Adsit from 30 Rock. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't look great there, neither does Wayney. Like, is, is Wayney, is she purposely doing no, the she Red just... Robin? The Red Robin poses? You're supposed to go high. I know. You? You're supposed to like go high and point it down. Yeah. But I she goes she Red Robin. Chokes, and she's sort of short, so she kind of has to, to get them in the frame. She has to kind of go down looking up, I think. 
And this oh, one is okay. maybe my uh, favorite. I think this might be the last one we're going to show. Yeah, this is Wayney with one of her favorite bands, The Wanted. Had a friend take the picture. <laughs> and it's just a lot of blurring going on. It's yeah. an indie rock album cover. It, it really is. is. Yeah, so she wanted an artistic photo with The Wanted. Nope, wanted to be seen and see everybody, but uh, it didn't work out that way, as is the case with Plunkets. And those are our 2021 20, Plunkets. I think it's going to be a good year. So what would a special be without a celebrity guest you recognize from the TV? Uh, not a very good one. And that's why we asked comedian Mark Price, who played Skippy on Family Ties, to show us his Plunkets. You know, Mallory... There are two Skippies, <laughs> a good Skippy and a bad Skippy. Would you like to go out with either of us on Friday night? <laughs> no. No. Please welcome Mr. Mark Price. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hello there. Yes. Mark, where, where are you? Yeah, where, where are, are you, you right now? I'm uh, live because I travel to some of the most beautiful places on earth. That's my thing. Scenic grandeur. And so I'm talking to you right now from in front of an Arby's. <laughs> that's that's because the place we were at earlier uh, didn't quite get the reception we needed, so we found our we found our zone. Well, nice. Okay. It looked beautiful, but the Arby's had better Wi-Fi. So thanks to the fine folks at uh, at Arby's for supplying the Wi-Fi for us this, today. We'll, we'll have this uh, segment be sponsored by Arby's. How about that? I still feel like I'm in nature because there's a tree. So. <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm good. Gorgeous. It's a tree that smells like roast beef, right? <laughs> That's where they get the, the roast beef. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we're, the... we're doing a show called TV's Plunkets and, and Practical Thumbs, which is, it makes no sense to anybody. But the idea is we're showing unflattering photos of ourselves. And um, everybody's got some, some unflattering photo skeletons in their closet. And we thought we'd show you some of ours and feel free to just be brutal. This is me and Joe in sixth grade it's sort of backlit i look like a young john candy on the left there <laughs> yep and i got i i broke my arm and i think i i think i think i'm pretty cute there i'm gonna go ahead and say it but i think i look like an actual chimpanzee there, like you guys are a little you guys are a little uh, younger than me i guess because that that picture of the it, it, i assume it's the 80s yeah this would have been 86 or 87 i think so oh yeah, yeah you're much younger than me uh yeah i've got a duck t-shirt on i'm holding up a... you know i i gotta say i think technology dipped down a little bit in that era definitely in the 70s we had much brighter color much more vivid color in our photos <laughs> oh, yeah no the the 80s was it was a dim it was a dim period extremely oh, dim. Stop. this is uh me during a particularly large moment uh this is if you're a doughy are, are you on the left or the right yeah Nick? i'm on the left here okay if you're kind of a bigger kid, just I just a tip: don't get your photo taken next to a whale. It's just not a, a killer whale. It's kind of, uh, and the shorts don't do me any favors either. I think the hat really works for you, putting the bill up like that. I think that's great. <laughs> this, I don't, uh, Mark. I don't know. If this was sort of my Skippy phase here. I don't know if uh, minus the glasses, the, but the whale shot, by the way, was pre the movie Blackfish, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, right. This is. Don't cancel me know. for going to SeaWorld. Thank you. Nick you did not know. harm that, that whale. I didn't. No. Yeah, so I, this was a suspenders phase with me, a pink tie. Yeah, I, I had that look. Uh, I was a little older, but I had that look uh, myself there, that thin, the thin tie. I had to have one. Now, was that a personal choice, or was that something that wardrobe put you in? Um, I don't think the character Skippy ever wore a thin tie. Maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I personally used to wear them on stage and stuff. Even a, And then the bolo tie came in. Remember that was there yes. for a few minutes? <laughs> so here's Joe. This is uh, – what year would have this been, Joe? This was uh, sixth grade, maybe? Oh, yeah, this is probably 1990. Okay. And I was full-on goiter. With that. I was I was like 90% goiter at that stage of my life. <laughs> a lot of word? Adam's apple. Oh, Adam's apple, yeah. What's a goiter? Is that a goiter? I don't know what a goiter is. Okay. Wait a uh, minute, that's a giant Adam's apple. You don't mean no Adam's apple, right? No, oh, that's a huge one. Oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's a monstrous. It's a growth. That's, that's why you have the beard. Right, exactly. <laughs> cover exactly. <laughs> Got to cover it up. Here's a little bit later. Oh, yeah, this is high school. This is probably 94. This is when I was playing in Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this Bad is acne. Rubber band braids. Yeah, the uh, complexion is not great. I think I wanted dreadlocks, but not really. 
You know what I mean? I didn't want to commit. I just wanted to like kind of look cool. Like I couldn't. Like I just look hideous. Look at the 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 uh, the fluff, the tuft of hair on the chin. Uh, yeah. With the acne, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of problems here. Not a great look there. So, Mark, Wait, I would think. It could be a vacation in Jamaica, right? They offer to do that for you on the beach there. Exactly. Or, or like have my uh, 19-year-old girlfriend do it. <laughs> if only <laughs> you had time. Jamaica as an excuse, Joe. Yeah. That, uh, here's another one of Joe. This is uh, not a great look. This is probably your final stage of evolution here, right, Joe? Well, yeah, I, I let my hair grow out for an entire summer. And then I went to a Brewers game, a Milwaukee Brewers game. And, uh, you know, I'd love to – and I decided to go shirtless because – you they were fine with you going shirtless outside. Uh, and then this woman came up and asked if she could get a photo taken with me. <laughs> I have no idea where those glasses came from. And I know that she was taking the photo of me as a goof, you know, like right. she didn't want to, yeah. She was just like, Hey, do you mind if uh, my friend takes a picture <laughs> of me with you? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm going on her podcast later today. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. You'll have a lot of stories to tell the chest hair, the nipples, and I'd love to say that the cigarette was ironic, but uh, I don't think it was. <laughs> All right, let's get into some of yours, Mark. This is, uh, I guess I just wanted to highlight the posture on this one. <laughs> that was the uh, the skippy body language. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands there. Where are my fingers? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. It's suspect. It's suspect. Did you wear glasses in real life or were you just forced to for... Skipping. Well, I wouldn't say forced to. It wasn't. It wasn't quite like a child slavery kind of situation, <laughs> just so you know. Oh, okay. But uh, they pulled them out of the prop house. It might have been the same ones that Oliver, little cousin Oliver, wore on the Brady Bunch. But again, you're too young to remember cousin Oliver. Oh, oh no, I, I know. I know cousin Oliver. Reruns. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So it, it was just sort of his old glasses. Just child actor handed down from one to the next kind of thing. Well, also, Paramount, they keep those props, you know, they have the, they, they, well, they used to I anyway. Mean, they used to have all the props from decades previous. I mean, I think it should be in the Smithsonian personally. Those glasses. The shirt, even, even oh, the, the shirt <laughs> might have come from, from Happy Days or something. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like you're doing a cannonball into a swim, swimming pool right here. Uh -huh. kind of look like uh -huh. you're about yeah. To, yeah, Somebody Photoshop of... that. I think that would be okay. fun. Yeah. All right. Here's this is more of your heartthrob era with, here with Bernie Sanders. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> What's that's going on teen, here? Uh, teen, uh, teen beat. Trying right. to trying to uh, you know work off Michael J. Fox was in the he was the poster. Right. I was just trying to get the you know on the back page a little corner. <laughs> yes. The B side. The men of family ties here. <laughs> or maybe this, this could have been teen win, win loser draw era. Maybe I don't know. I I don't know. I look at that. I don't know if you're like me. You just look at it. And you go, oh man, I was so skinny. <laughs> oh, one hundred percent. Not yet embittered by women or showbiz. <laughs> well, I yeah, want to talk for the day. Yeah, oh. I want to talk to you about a, a phenomenon that I know you you've been a touring comedian. You know, basically since you were fifteen, right? And and. Uh, I know at, we do a, a lot of shows and tour as well, and people come up afterwards. They take photos with you, uh, uh, us less so than you, I'm sure. But but you you aren't in control over the lighting or how the photos turn out. And so occasionally people will post these and tag us in them, and we just look terrible because you know you you're not in control, and you're usually sweaty after a, a you know a show. And uh, I just found one where. You're, I mean, you don't look terrible, but you're not looking at the right camera, I think. There must have been two phones out at this point. Oh, you, if you have a problem with that one, man, you got that. <laughs> Nick, no. did you consider that a plunket? That's nothing. Are you if considering that, that, that a plunket? If that came up a few years later on Facebook on one of the memories, I'd, re, I'd replay it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're not looking at the camera. This lady maybe is more of a plunket for her because she was not ready for it, sort of combing her hair here. So, Some, yeah. Somebody uh, once said that you know, you look better in an old picture <laughs> than in any old picture. No matter how bad you look in an old picture, <laughs> you look better than you do in a current one if you're if you're getting older. <laughs> That's true. I mean, maybe just shooting in front of an Arby's is is like a, a video <laughs> plunket, you know? <laughs> yeah, I would say this is my video plunket, yes. By the way, I just wanted to point out, I have the Family Ties board game, and you are the worst card to get in the game. 
Oh my, yes. It's the I'm the go to jail. Do not pass go. Yeah. Do if not you if you end up with the Skippy card, you lose the game. So everybody's trying to shed this card the whole time. I so. think that's wrong. I always liked Skippy. I always loved Skippy scenes. I look forward to seeing Skippy in the scenes. I know. I think you should sue that game. I take that personally. Who do you yeah. think created that board game? I mean, it says on the cover, right? It says uh, the object of the game is to get the Keatons together for a family portrait. Yeah, for family but fun. Watch right? out. But watch out when Skippy enters the picture. That's exactly what it says. You're right. Yeah. Boy. Mark, thank you for being on TV's Plunkets and, and Practical Thumbs. And also thanks to the good folks at Arby's. Uh, they're the real heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. TV's Plunkets and Practical Thumbs will return with a very special guest appearance. But first. Which Steve is thumb? The answer when we return. Angelo's been working overtime on his flips. He needs the deodorant that works overtime. Senator, Joe's been working overtime to get his story. But he needs the deodorant that works overtime. Only Old Spice Stick Deodorant gives you both 24-hour protection from odor, plus that famous Old Spice scent. Fuck has been working overtime, learning the new plays. Sure glad my Old Spice Stick works overtime, too. Old Spice Stick, the deodorant that works overtime. Coming this March, the Toe Tapping Tournament, which contestant will take home the big prize. Which Steve is Thumb? If you said this Steve was Thumb, you're correct. And that's how you play. That Steve was Thumb. I'll tell you what, guys, when it comes to thumbs, you never know which one is Steve. It could even be you. <laughs> never know. Well, we've had a lot of fun so far looking at Plunkets from yesteryear and today. And how about those special guests? But there is one special guest we've saved to the end because it's somebody I think Steve will recognize. What? Let's bring him out. All right. It's Jim Plunkett, everybody. We got him. We got him. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey. Oh. Hi, Mr. Plunkett. Hey, it's Steve. I'd recognize that knucklehead anywhere. It's a pleasure, Mr. Plunkett. It's a pleasure. Oh, I won the Heisman Trophy and two Super Bowls, and all I'll be remembered for is that damn photo. I, I guess we're partially to blame for that, Mr. Plunkett. But, um, hey, I mean, Steve, I mean, this is your hero you're meeting here. I, this is this is the best, guys. Mr. Plunkett, I, I can't tell you what a fan I am ever since I was a kid. Like, you're it. You're it when oh. I think of football. Uh, my biggest regret is not getting into the Hall of Fame. At least it was until I saw that picture I took with you. Now my biggest regret is having my picture taken with you. <laughs> I wish I'd never gone into football. Oh, Mr. Wow, Mr. Plunkett. This is I mean, unexpected. Steve, Steve looked up to you. Like, yeah, I, I heard Steve played football. I heard he was a lousy quarterback. He's all thumbs, even with his head. <laughs> oh, that's, not just, that's just not fair. Uh, yes. But Steve's great at recommending movies. He gave Tennant three thumbs up. I guess he's the, one of the few people who could do that. And uh, yeah, I didn't think that movie was that good, but that's... Uh, oh, but because he used his thumb, his head as the third thumb. This and then, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. just look at him. He's like one and a half Fonzies over there. <laughs> oh, because Fonzie would do the A with the... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, he's, the, he's the king of dated references, Jim Plunkett. I'm not a that. young man. <laughs> but look he at all those trophies. the bearded thumb. The bearded thumb sounds like a missing page from the Kama Sutra. <laughs> That's a position I would like to see. You're right, Mr. Mr. Plunkett. Look Guess who's the... got three thumbs and is getting mercilessly roasted by his hero? That guy. Well, referring to Steve, right? Yeah. Brutal. Thumb Brutal. likes it hot. <laughs> the thumbs like it hot. Okay. Those, were, those must be those trophies behind him. They must be uh, trophies for zinger contests that he won. <laughs> My other career. Well, Jim Plunkett, I, I can't believe this is a huge get. I mean, we had Skippy on, we had Joe Firestone, but this is, what an honor. It must be an honor for Steve as well. Well, it's certainly not an honor for me. Oh, you can <laughs> tell how bored Steve is with this. He's sitting there twiddling his head. <laughs> how would you even do that? Wow. This is... Uh, all right, I'm sick of this. I gotta go. Okay. They say never meet your heroes, but they don't tell heroes to never meet their fans Ooh. because they might look like actual thumbs. <laughs> Plunk it out. 
Oh, plunk it out. Wow. wow. Brutal. Steve, I mean, oh. You know what? Here's the thing. I always knew him as a football slinger. I didn't know him as a plunket zinger. <laughs> found out tonight. Broke my heart, guys. I was so excited. Well, hey, George uh, the Creep, thank you so much for joining us on TV's Plunkets and Practical Thumbs. And hey, there wouldn't even be a Plunket without Steve. Take a bow, gentlemen. At least Jim Plunkett remembered me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Wow, what a night. So many terrible photos. But I saved the best for last. Take a look at this. It's a picture of Nick at Red Robin. Look at uh -huh. this photo. <laughs> You've already shown that. Twice now, actually. Did I? Yeah. Maybe I conked myself on the head with a mallet. <laughs> well, until next time, everybody. Keep your shorts short and your sweatshirts baggy. And may your chin always be double, because someday you'll usurp your way to number one. Good night, everyone. Good night. So I've been meaning to ask you, when the album, you do just TV for which way does the joke come in? Well, what, what way? I want to say it's right to the left. It is right, yep. Okay. That, that's exactly right. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the back of two thumbs. You won't be able to see the front. Based on the back of the thumb alone, you have to guess which thumb is Steve. Are you ready? Let's do it. Ready. Mm. Nick? You know, you, you got the one on the left is a hat with a lanyard. I'm going with the one on the left. Okay, George. Nick's always wrong, so I'm gonna go with the one on the right. Yep. Nick is batting zero on this game, so that's not a bad pick. Steve, uh, this is your game. What do you think? You know, you never really look at the back of your head, so I'm going to think that the, the hat's a throw-off, and I'm going to go with the one on the right. All right, let's take a look. That's up with Steve. At 11, Toledoans speak out on garbage.